startups and small businesses. So who are we? I'm Richard, this is Ken. Between us, we've got 20 years experience as developers. Ten of those have been in startups, and we have built secure payment systems for a gambling startup before. So what is the problem? We have integrated payment solutions into a lot of startups, some our own, some for other people. And every single time we've done it, there's always been problems. One example is a ticketing platform that we built. Um, we approached all of the big companies where we provide uh, merchant accounts, and basically they all said no. They, all, they, did, they didn't want to know, basically they didn't really care what the business was, they a brief overview and they, they turned us down. So they're not startup friendly friendly. So there are some payment platforms that are startup friendly. Um, you can get going quite easily on them. The problem is that you pay a premium on the rates. Um, and basically, once you start becoming successful, they still get in touch with you and say, what is your business? And they might cancel um, that business from you. We've heard about a lot of stories of that. So what are we going to do about it? So we are targeting startups and small businesses. Basically, we know that area. We've been there before. We know what people want, and we think we can find a better solution to suit them. We're working on our merchants' behalf to provide better rates so they don't have to compromise on the rates. Um, we're providing real-time analytics, something that I think is lacking a lot of payment solutions. We're going to give you um, real-time conversion <coughs> metrics. Um, we'll do A-B testing for you if you use our fully hosted solution automatically for you. Um, we're going to provide exceptional support along the way. Um, we'll have flexible payment options, um, which will be basically a combination of subscription fees and per transaction fees. Uh, but depending on startup circumstance, they may want to go for one or the other. So I'm going to hand it over to Ken, who's going to tell you about the progress we've made today. Right. Um, so, so, so far, we've bootstrapped to date. Um, we've been working mostly in our spare time. Um, our core focus has been building a prototype of Sutsafar. So, so I'm going to jump straight into a quick screenshot demo. Um, so this is uh, the ticket drop, that, um, which is a big um, event selling a ticket site. So if Mini Seacom was an event, um, there, there would, would be £30 pounds each. And, uh, if we were to go through, continue to payment, so we're ready to pay, we go through to a payment page, enter our credit card details, and it's done, we paid. So that's really easy for the user, that's what it should be. But for the developers and merchants to build something like that quickly is actually quite difficult. It's really time consuming and you know it just isn't isn't easy to do. There's three core packages we're going to offer, so hopefully host the solution which Ticket Drop is using. Um, it allows the merchants and uh, developers to create an account and in a very short space of time be able to start accepting payment immediately. Um, and as a customer grows with us, we'll allow them to, um, let's say, one better user experience. They want um, to hold data themselves, and process more themselves. And to do that, they need to pass a lot of their security compliance rules that the law requires. And this is where we come in. We'll provide the technical support and security guidance to help them achieve that. Um, we're going to face quite a few challenges in doing this, um, so there's a lot of risk involved, so I'll pass you guys Cool. So what are the barriers to being able to offer this solution? So uh, in conversation, fraud always comes up first. Everybody wants to know what are we going to do to combat fraud. Well, in the market that we're trying to target specifically, um, it's usually quite low fixed amounts. Like if you want a subscription to a website, it's usually $30 or something like that. Um, so the fact that they're, they're small, um, it's B to C, and we're not doing P to P. So basically, we know who the you know who the business is and the customer. We know where the money's flowing. We think that by targeting that niche, we're not going to have a lot of the risks that you have today. Um, obviously, we need a good merchant partnership to be able to do this solution. Um, we've been talking to a potential strategic partner, and we're probably going to be able to go ahead with them very soon. Um, so obviously, another part of the risk is our competition. So the three at the top. Uh, I've already spoken about, basically those are the people that we approached and they turned us down, apart from PayPal obviously. Um, the ones at the bottom, these are targeting the same market as us, but um, with all of those you still need to have a merchant account and payment gateway, which is the problem that I mentioned earlier. So that's us, we are Subtify, the easy way to take online payments for uh, small businesses and startups. Um, we've already been approached by a few uh, people uh, looking to use this business already, um, some of them are already here. <laughs> Um, and uh, we're looking for advice on law, finance and marketing specifically, but any feedback will be welcome. Thank you.